Okay, I'm going to show how to do the set readiness for um, emissions on a 03 Volkswagen Passat. So after you've entered your vehicle, uh, click auto scan and then click pause right at the beginning. And then we'll want to go into engine. And I just disconnected the battery, so... I think these are going to all say uh, not ready. I guess some of them say pass, but we're going to do it anyways. Set readiness. Okay, so if you haven't already, clear your codes, um, check engine codes or whatever, because if you don't, some of the tests won't let you actually activate them. Um, okay, so throttle calibration, engine not running. Do not touch the accelerator. Click next to calibrate the throttle. So field four will briefly read run. Wait for it to read OK, and then wait 30 seconds. So, click this. Now it's saying run. Basic settings goes to on. So sometimes the test uh, shows its status up here, and sometimes it shows it in one of these boxes. It's kind of weird. Uh, but it says OK, and then it says wait 30 seconds. So I, there's a timer down here. I'm going to come back when it says 60. Okay, just like it said, I waited 30 seconds. It's, we're at 60 seconds now, so we're going to go next. Also, I don't know why this says slash next here. You always have to click this to go to next. So I have a manual, so it says I can skip the next one. Automatic transmission only. I'm going to skip it. Okay, purge valve. So we need the engine idling. I'm going to give it a second to stabilize. Okay. Press the on button. Allow engine to idle until blah 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 until it says evap OK. So test off. This will turn to evap OK. I found that a lot of the times you have to click this molt a couple times. Very terrible interface. Okay, so it's trying to turn the test on, but it's not actually turning on. So let's see what else it says. Field 1 should display 0 to 100. Okay, that's true. Uh, I'm going to let the car run for a couple minutes and see if this test turns on. Okay, after uh, my engine heated up and, well, my engine was heated up and after about a minute and a half, it said evap okay. So we can go to next. Response time for front heated oxygen sensor. Press on off to start the test. Hold the brake, hold the accelerator. So it says on already. So let me see what happens when I push the brake and the accelerator. Okay, the um, ECU is not limiting the RPM. So we need to turn the test off and then back on again. And now the confusing thing is that it says test off but once you reach the right RPM, it'll say test on. So even though this says on, press this so it turns off and you need to turn it on again. Then push on the brake and floor the accelerator and the RPMs will slowly go up. And then this will change to test on and keep holding the accelerator to the floor. This took me a while to figure out. Now it says OK. Yep. Bank one sensor one. OK. 
Okay, release it. Okay. Um, readiness of the other oxygen sensor. So once again, even though this says on, it's really dumb. You have to come here, press off, and then back on again. Then it'll go test on. Okay, about a minute later, it says OK. Click Next. Okay, oxygen sensor control system. Press the on, allow it to idle till it says system OK. So let's turn it off, off, and then on again. I just heard the idle change a tiny bit. Thing about this one is it said system okay from the very beginning so I don't really know when it finishes okay I don't know if that did anything drop a comment if you know how to do this one this is step 11 um, so I'm just gonna go to next okay oxygen sensor aging press the on off, press and hold brake, press the accelerator. So here's another one where it already says OK. So um, I guess let's just turn it off and on. Let's see if anything happens when we do the accelerator. No, so maybe what happened was during the previous tests, this test also completed just by itself. Uh, maybe I could double check that by resetting the car again and then skipping straight to this step and seeing if it says, uh, you know, if it says inconclusive here, then that would be evidence that this test finishes itself while you're doing the previous tests. But for now, it's saying OK. I'm going to click Next. Next. Fuel leakage. OK. Press this. Wait for it to say System OK. Test is on now see how long it takes okay that took about a minute and it says system okay so we're gonna go next okay step 15 secondary air uh, press the on Just like all the other ones, you gotta press it twice. Now I heard the idle change, it goes to test on. I feel like this one takes about 40 seconds or so, so I'm gonna pause. Okay, it says system okay. Let's go to next. Okay, step 16. For this one, your engine has to be, or your catalytic converter has to be at or above 550. If it's not, you'll need to hold, you'll need to start the test and hold the accelerator until it gets to that. Um, so what we do, yeah, press and hold the brake. ECU will limit the engine speed. Wait until uh, field two displays 550. At that point, it'll kick on. So you might be s stepping on the accelerator for a minute or two and then wait for field four to say cat be okay. So we're going to toggle this like always. Foot on the brake, foot on the accelerator and floor it. And the test is not gonna start yet because our temperature needs to go to 550. Okay, we just hit 550. Now it says test on, keep holding the accelerator. It 
So the cat's bad. I already knew that. So we're gonna go next. Okay, Lambda Control Diagnostic. Uh, all we gotta do is click the button until it reads System OK. So toggle it off and back on. Now it's test on. We'll give it a few seconds. Okay, that was about 20 seconds. It says System OK. Okay, what's this one? Camshaft. Press and hold the brake, press the accelerator just like before. Wait for field one to say on and wait for field two to say system OK. Toggle this off, toggle it back on, brake, accelerator to the floor. Slowly raises the RPMs. Now it's testing and we're good. So next, okay, misfire. So just click it and let it idle for this one. Field four should display activated. I feel like when I did this one in the past, it it just said enabled and it never changed to activated so I'm gonna give this a minute and if it doesn't change uh, we're just gonna go to next okay I gave it a couple minutes and it hasn't changed um, but with such a terrible interface I don't know I think it might just be fine as enabled so click next Okay, heated oxygen sensor, press on off, allow it to go until it says heater on, so let's toggle this, and I'll go foot on the brake, oh, it's not limiting my RPM, let's try it again. Okay, so that's weird. Oh, no, this one's just letting it idle, my bad. And this value always changes between 0 ohms and 0.1, or, yeah, 0.1 kilo ohms. So, it says it should be above 2. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Um, maybe my O2 sensor is bad, but I just replaced it and this didn't change at all. So, uh, let me know if you guys experience this actually going over to or not um, but for now yeah it just stays there so I guess I have no choice I'll just click next and we're done so now let's go over to this heated O2 interesting that one's incomplete and catalytic converter uh, says failed or incomplete um, so um, I hope this helps people out somewhat uh, as far as those uh, couple spots where we got hung up. I hope somebody could drop in the comments um, what you're supposed to do. Thanks.